Hey everyone, what's up? My name is Diana, and for those of you who don't know, I was born with HIV. Welcome to my channel, where my goal is to help those who are positive and help educate those who are negative. So if that sounds like your thing, please stick around. All right, today's topic is why you should tell your friends you're HIV positive. And I know, I know, you might be wondering, wait, Diana, why the heck would I tell my friends I'm HIV positive? Cause I'm not really trying to sleep with them, so yeah. Anyway, that's a very valid point. You're not wrong there. And I totally thought the same like you, but the moment I got to tell my friends, I realized, oh my God, how big of a difference this is, like the before and after, it's like night and day. And I only wish I told my friends earlier because that would have helped me in so many situations, scenarios, problems that wouldn't have turned out the way they did if my friends were there to help me. So if you're someone who's been kind of on the fence about, should I tell this person, should I not? Uh, yes, no, I don't know. I hope I can convince you today with these points that yes, go ahead and tell that friend of yours that you're HIV positive because you'll be very happy that you did so. So without further ado, these are my six reasons why you should tell someone you're HIV positive. The first reason is pretty obvious and that is support. Now, we require a lot more support than you think, and you can't really do this sustainably on the long term without your friends, family, whatever. Either we're dealing with the diagnosis of being HIV positive, dealing with this stigma that comes around it because of the society we live in. Like, there's just a list of things that add extra stress and uncomfortness to our lives because we're HIV positive and we really need to turn to someone to talk about these things and be listened to and just know that someone is there with us. And the thing is, when we're growing up, most of our support comes from our family. And then on the other side, when we're finally settled down and we have a partner, our primary source of support is really coming from that partner. However, it's really this intermediate stage where we're in high school, college, young adult life where we really rely on our friends for the support. It's especially during this time where HIV is super prevalent because we want to explore, we want to meet new people, we want to date around, and that is the perfect opportunity to get rejected because of your HIV status or also be accepted, but you have to learn how to deal with it. So as an example, there's two scenarios where your friends' support during this stage of your life are really valuable. The first scenario is maybe you just got that diagnosis that your HIV be positive. Personally, I've never been through this because I was born with it, but I can only imagine what it feels like because you got that test result, that positive test result, when you had all this preconception of what it means to be HIV positive. So you might be an emotional wreck. You can't really think straight. You don't know what's going on. And even though so many people like the doctors or online are telling you it's going to be okay, you just need to take a medicine. It's just so overwhelming. In this regard, this is where a friend could come in, someone that you trust and could really help you with this process they will be able to do the research with you and just ensure you that there is someone there along for the ride and that you're not alone in this and I think that's super important also they could be just someone that they listen to how you're feeling all your worries all your fears having that one friend by your side telling you I'm here for you and it's going to be okay that's going to really really help a lot now the second scenario is you're going to have to be telling new sexual partners that you're HIV positive and this is probably the most anxiety inducing part of being HIV positive. But if your friends are there for you, you can tell them, hey, I'm about to tell this new guy I've been seeing, I'm HIV positive, I'm scared. They will be your number one fan, your number one cheerleader. Like they will be the ones in the stadium with the super embarrassing sign being like, go Diana, you got this. He's gonna say yes, it'll be fine. And they'll just lighten up the mood, the situation and everything and bring confidence for you. Like it's your own pep rally and you get so hyped up such that when you finally do disclose to the person, you have so much confidence such that the more confidence you have going into the disclosure, the easier it will be for you to disclose. And then the other person will take it a lot better than if you come in victimizing yourself already. That's great. And even if they reject you, maybe you have so much confidence it doesn't even matter to you. And on the topic of getting rejected because of your HIV status, this is where your friends play such a vital role. Imagine if you didn't have your friends and you go back home and you self-loathe, you go downwards in this spiral of really no one's ever gonna love me, no one's ever gonna accept me, I'm gonna die alone, no one will ever be okay that I'm HIV positive and this will prevent you from dating again or from meeting new people and you're only going to be hurting yourself that's where your friend will come in and be like 
Listen, Diana, he's not the one. There's someone else out there who's going to be totally fine with it and won't even think about it. Don't let this get you down and don't give up hope. Spoiler alert, there's actually a lot of people who really don't care. All right, so now the second point. Your friends give you a different perspective. What I mean by this is, sure, you can have all the unconditional support and love from your family members and doctors. We so much appreciate that. We're here for it. However, at the end of the day, you kind of have to think, well, of course they're going to be okay with me being HIV positive and supporting me with it because they're so biased towards HIV. They know it's not a big deal. They already are educated about it, etc. Most of the time, your friends probably had no prior exposure to what it means to be HIV positive. So everything they know is what they learned in school. And that's exactly, quote unquote, what the rest of society might think. So this can come in super handy for a multiple reasons. The first one again deals with disclosing your HIV status. Every time you disclose your HIV status, it's going to be a case by case scenario. I mean, maybe you're just hooking up with someone or maybe you just met someone at the bar that night or maybe you've been dating this person 10 times at least and now you finally want to tell them or something like this. Every situation, every disclosure will be different and you need to kind of adapt to that person and how to tell them. So this is where your friends come in super clutch because they can provide very helpful insight on how would they want to hear your HIV status disclosure if they were in the other person's shoes. Your friends can only help you with your problem if they understand the situation fully. So let's just say maybe you told someone you're HIV positive after sleeping with them and you've been dating them and then they found out and they just completely lost the trust in you. And if you hadn't told your friends that you're HIV positive, maybe you're trying to describe the situation to them and you're like, yeah, well, I really broke this guy's trust. I'm not really sure what to do. You can't really tell them what it, you did to break their trust. So your friends are like, Damn, Diana, what the heck did you do to this guy? You can't say anything, but if your friends knew, they can help better band-aid the situation and repair it than if they didn't know. So I hope you can see that your friends give you a really good perspective of an HIV negative person's mind and what they think about HIV, which in turn really helps you. Okay, reason number three. This one is probably weird to think about, but it's super important, and that is you are spreading awareness of what it means to be HIV positive. You're educating your friends. In turn, you're breaking the stigma, which is awesome. When you really think about it, we are all quote unquote influencers. Sure, maybe we don't have 100K or a million followers, whatever, but the thing is, whatever you read, whatever you write, whatever you talk about, discuss with your friends, you are influencing ideas onto them and you are in turn educating each other about anything. So when you tell your friend you're HIV positive, they probably never personally knew anyone who's living with HIV. You can tell them about how you only take one pill in the morning or you could tell them about U equals U and when they know this information, it trickles down. It's a cascading waterfall and that is so fascinating. Like. Maybe they'll go to a party and someone will just be saying something about HIV and they could just come in, chime in and say, hey, actually, um, did you know that there's this thing called U equals U? So HIV positive people who take their medicine can't give it to their sexual partners anymore. Whoever's at that party will then know. And that is absolutely fascinating because in order to break the stigma, we really need to educate those who are HIV negative for them to really understand what it means for us to be living with HIV. The more we do this, the more it trickles down this information, the more it'll be easier for people like us to disclose their status and be comfortable with being HIV positive because that's currently not the case. Prove me wrong, but that's just my viewpoint on it. Okay, number four. So this one's gonna be a little bit mushy, but you really form a stronger bond to your friend when you tell them you're HIV positive. Like I said earlier, there is really really quote unquote no reason to tell your friend because you're not trying to sleep with them. The only reason you're telling them is because it's out of you being so comfortable with them and you trust them so much with this information that you are willing to share this with them. When you present it like that, when you tell them, they're really going to appreciate that because that is so hard to tell someone and just say it out loud. You and your friend will just have a different appreciation for each other and you'll be more comfortable with this person. I don't know if I really have more to say to this 
part, but just try it out and you tell me if I'm wrong that your friendship didn't get stronger because you told your friend. So I'll just head straight to number five and that is when you're being vulnerable with your friend, you're actually being very, very vulnerable with yourself such that you're being true to who you are. And this is on the path to acceptance that you're HIV positive. Just being able to say those words out loud to someone else that's not your family or doctors is a really huge step. And in a way you might feel like a weight is lifted off your shoulders, you feel more freer, you feel more true to yourself. Like you are, yeah, I'm HIV positive, but so what? My friend accepted it, so what? It's okay. This is so vital for you in accepting your HIV status. Because how many of you feel like you've been living a double life, a life where it's all non-HIV related stuff and then your HIV related stuff? It gets really tiring, honestly, after a while. And just even telling one friend can be so relieving because it is hard to hide such a big aspect of who you are well, not who you are, but a big part of your life. You know what I mean. It's so hard to hide that aspect of your life from someone who's super close to you. And at least for me personally, I always felt like I was lying to my friend and I couldn't exactly tell them the whole truth, the whole me. Like they saw really everything about me except this one thing. And I just felt like I wasn't fully, truly myself around them. But once I told them, it just felt like I could really be 100% confident me and myself in front of them. Hearing your friend be okay that you're HIV positive and totally accepting it can also help you realize that actually it's not so bad and it's not the end of the world. I'm just HIV positive, it's just a part of me, but it shouldn't define who I am at all. Which now brings me to my last and final reason and that is number six, medication. This one's kind of dumb, but honestly, what I just said earlier about living a double life, like also, I mean, Raise your hands. How many of you have gone so good at hiding when you take your medication? Whether you're on vacation, work trips, or school camp trips that are overnight or something, like, oh my god, it's so exhausting, you know? And it's like no one knows and you have to just be stealthy and sneak in that medicine in your bag, then swallow it in the morning. And back then when I was a kid, I mean, I had to do it morning and night and a lot of pills and it's just, it takes up place in the luggage you know what I mean also on top of that the traveling aspect I mean there could be times that you know when you do long travels and you're going to a very foreign country like and you're stopped by TSA and they kind of ask you hey what kind of medication is this here and your friends might be with you and if they don't know they'll be like uh Diana um what are you what are you bringing with you are you a drug mule like what's going on here and I'll be like uh guys guys I can explain I can explain but if they know, then you can avoid this awkward situation. And the last thing I wanted to touch on for traveling is it's actually quite disappointing and sad, but there are actually some countries where we HIV positive people are not allowed to enter, Ooh. sometimes as tourists or sometimes for resident permits, etc. If we're trying to go to a country and our friends are like, oh, I really want to go to Dubai, you know, because the official Oktoberfest for 2021 is in Dubai, I don't know why, but but technically we're not allowed to go there so you kind of it's it's an awkward situation if your friends don't know because you kind of how do you explain that to them hey i actually can't travel there yeah why diana are you a criminal or what ha what did you do in that country and it's like uh well i didn't do anything i'm just hiv positive you know <laughs> um but yeah it's it's really unfortunate so stuff like this it's also nice if your friends know already so you can just easily say there's a restriction for hiv positive people and it's dumb Anyway, these were all the reasons I could think of of why you should tell your friends that you're HIV positive. And I tried so hard to think of reasons why you should not tell them, but I really couldn't think of anything. I mean, the only thing that really popped into my head was maybe be careful who you tell that you're HIV positive because this could completely backfire. And I think this really applies to situations where maybe you're in high school or maybe you're surrounded by really immature people and they don't understand that, hey, if someone tells you you're HIV positive, you should not spread that around for other people to know. That's a secret that you keep confidential with that HIV positive person and you. Just take caution. But if you were someone who was on the fence and you wanted to tell your friend, I hope these were good enough reasons to convince you that, yeah, go for it. You should totally do it. And I think you'll be really happy because 
my only regret with it, I mean, I don't regret anything, but I do wish I did tell my friends earlier because I would have prevented so many bad situations HIV related. So if you have good experiences or maybe you're HIV negative and you have an HIV positive friend and you want to support them or something, it'd be so cool if you could drop it down in the comments. Also, let me know if there's any questions related to this. And yeah, as always, thank you so much for listening. Thanks for your attention and I'll see you next time. Ciao. So one of my friends, before he knew I had HIV, we were discussing U equals U and he read into it and he was like, yeah, I, sh I just don't think it's 100%. And I'm like, no, dude, trust me. HIV, U equals U, is a thing. And he's like, nah, back and forth, back and forth. And then I'm like, can I tell you something? I'm HIV positive. And he's like, what? No way. No way. And I was like, yeah, U equals U. It's a thing.